I'm going to start by removing everything from the main area of my fridge. My goal is to throw out any food that is expired or anything that is close to spoiling. I just want to have everything nice and fresh in this fridge. I am going to be wiping my fridge down with a mix that I made on my own. It's vinegar and essential oil and water. I wanted to use something that was eco-friendly. I just wanted to be sure that no chemicals came in contact with my food. It's now time for me to start arranging everything back into the fridge and I did buy some really colorful bins at the 99 cent store. I would normally organize using white or clear bins but today I am going the home edit style. It's going to be very colorful, everything's going to be color coordinated, something that's totally different and out of my comfort zone but you don't grow in your comfort zone and I would really like to grow as an organizer so I felt like experimenting with different types of organization and styles of organization would be a good way to start. We purchased this fridge back in January and I knew that we needed to break it in before I could even devise a plan to organizing it. One of the things that I noticed about this fridge is that the shelves are not adjustable so I don't have the option to adjust the levels. Um, it's all one large leveled shelf. The good thing is that the pockets on the doors are very deep so I'm able to store a lot of our condiments there and then the milk definitely needs to go stored on the pocket doors. Another good thing about this fridge is that we didn't get the traditional ice maker up top. The ice maker is actually built into the freezer and we really love that. It also gives the upper part of the fridge a little more space because the water dispenser is not taking up that extra space inside of the fridge. I found these vegetable and fruit storage containers at the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love them. They are perfect for food prepping or just prepping fruit for the kids. I normally um, chop some up, put them in here, and it's easy just to grab and give them something healthy versus something that is unhealthy. Another Dollar Tree item that I am going to be using in my fridge are these white wire baskets. I wanted my fridge to have a feel like if I was going to the market and these wire baskets gave me those vibes. I am putting lemons and apples into them and it is just perfect. I'm also going to be putting our tea into one of the shoebox bins. My husband put them into a plastic bag. Honestly, I probably would have left them inside of the the tea box but my husband put them into a bag so I'm going to get them nice and organized and put into the fridge I do like to store my tea in the fridge I really love this drawer but because it's so large it's easy to lose a sense of organization so I added a couple of baskets that I got at the 99 cent store. They were two for a dollar and I think it made a huge difference. In true home edit fashion, you cannot forget the labels. And this is something that I learned in one of their episodes. They print the labels on transparent paper on their printer. So if you don't have a label machine, you can do this and it works really well too. One of my YouTube friends, Liliana Rust, I've seen her do this as well. And I really love this idea because I don't have a label maker and it looks really good. 
And this is what it looks like. It's amazing. I love this labeling hack. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to be adding water to this drawer. Since I freed up enough space, I can go ahead and do this. Normally we keep our water in a little fridge that we have in the back, but I figured it'd be a lot easier for us just to grab it from here. The last thing I'm going to do is add some chalk labels to my lemons and my apples, except for that I wrote limes here, and I'm not sure why I messed that up, but I know they're lemons, but for whatever reason, I had limes on my mind. So I'm gonna go in and change that up later, but this is what it looks like, and I am obsessed. I think it looks so cool. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and got some ideas from it. As you know, I always organize on a budget, so this is attainable for everyone. I believe this organization project cost me about $10, so I am really proud that I made something that I absolutely love on a budget. If you want to see more budget organization videos, please subscribe. I have a lot more coming your way. Now let's go ahead and get into the before and afters.